Thanks to Omaze for sponsoring today's video. Today we are going to be trying to catch a ton of fish to try to add to a bunch of different aquariums, especially our brand new saltwater mini pond that I just set up, which has no fish inside of it yet. I did want to throw a couple in there to get the pond going a little bit, to get it cycling, and just to see how the fish would do when I throw them in the mini pond. I also do want to bring some back to the house and throw a bunch in for our brand new fish that we got. It is the most strange alien looking fish, and I really want to see him eat live and this is a perfect opportunity to feed him that's our plan today let's catch a ton of fish now you guys know they call me the glass minnow whisperer okay that's what the fish call me I hear them gossiping like at night they're like oh shit glass minnow whisperer lives here so the fish know I'm out to get them but this is a new group of glass minnows you know the winter came they all left and now and now there's a new crew of glass minnows that have arrived they're very small they're little babies and they are surprisingly very smart now people don't give them credit dude it takes a lot to catch glass minnows and that's why i'm the glass minnow whisperer they're so smart they're all out deep and we're gonna try to bring them in with this beautiful coffee here little known tip coffee they love coffee they love coffee with a little bread inside that's how you get the glass minnows look how gross that looks but this is how you catch a ton of fish you can stock all your aquariums with it and you can feed all your fish with just a little bread and a coffee cup and a fork that's all you need I don't know if you guys can see them out deep. They're usually right under the dock, but because this is a new batch of glass minnows, they're very, very skittish. They're all out deep. They're even by the boat, but we're gonna try our hardest to get these guys in our bucket. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little nervous, guys. This is gonna be hard, but this is the famous glass minnow net, and they love it. There's a bunch right under me, so let's see if I can catch them here. I'm gonna throw this in, try to act like nothing happened. Just gotta be like, that wasn't even me, that was just mess supposed to be there. That's what you gotta tell the glass minnows. They're all so scared, they all swam away. Now we gotta start coming with our with our bread here. Give them a reason to come by. I'm nervous, dude. I don't know if we're gonna be able to get them. I'm not even kidding, bro. These things are whizzes today. Guys, I'm gonna accept defeat on round one. And the glass minnows won round one. It's time to break out the big guns. The coffee, bread did not work. Did not work, that is rare, okay? We're breaking out something more meaty. We're gonna have to use this block of chum to try to get them in. We're gonna have to, it's the only way only way and this is some really tasty chum as well we're putting it in our old chum bag we're trying to get them up close with this chum here i don't know if they're gonna do it we could be wasting our time because they are wizards today guys like you ever use wizards in clash of clans like you you, you know you, you got to train your wizard that's the wizards those are the wizards the glass minnows Yeet. now we wait to see if they're gonna come by i'm gonna leave my net out there try to you know, as soon as they come in for that chum, I'm pulling it up and we're gonna catch a million. We got action, guys. Look at them all coming in. See all those little, looks like raindrops on the water? That's all glass minnows. They're getting so fired up right now. They can't resist the chum. I'm really surprised about the bread, but look at them, they're all coming in. Let's go, baby. Ladies and gentlemen, look at them all. It's a flock. Dude, they're, they're coming in by the hundreds of thousands. They're like, holy cow, the glass minnow whisperer is feeding us. Yeah, you're damn right. Oh, they're in the net. I, I got a good pull here, Brooke. I'm gonna be patient. I got zero. I got zero, guys. I'm rusty. You have a lot. You have a lot, Chris. Yeah. You got him. Got him. Let's go. Let's go. Got him. I got some. I got some. Is there I'll, a hole in that? There has to be. I'll take it, dude. I'll take any amount because they are super smart today. I don't know what the deal is. Let's go. That's fine, dude. That is perfectly fine. That's our first pull up. And there's a lot on the ground here that we got. But look how they're so small because they're just coming around this, this time of year now. Look at all these little guys. Guys, we got about, I would say 20, 25, right? 20? Less than 20? Brooke's giving me weird looks. She's like, this is Brooke's face right now. 20? No, I think it's about 20. But look at these guys. These are perfect for stocking ponds with. Initial, first initial fish. Look how pretty those are. They're like rainbow, especially when we're going to have the lights at night. It's going to look really, really cool. And they are great for feeding. So this is not enough. Glass Minnow Whisper. There was some adversity. Glass Minnow Whisper's got to get this net back out there. Come on, we got to get some more. New strategy is on point though, bro. Take two, guys. Take two. Oh, that's beautiful. I know you guys love that construction behind me. I said it in my last video. I love filming when there's construction. I swear, every day is a new house getting rebuilt. I don't understand it. Now, while I'm catching some glass minnows, I am excited to announce that I've been working with Omaze to offer you guys a chance to win a custom Mercedes Sprinter van with an eco-friendly van smith conversion and support a great cause, the St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. When you support St. Jude, you help give kids with cancer around the whole world a chance. When you enter for a chance to win the sweepstakes, you guys can score the ultimate off-road van and Mercedes Sprinter 
designer with over $85,000 in customizations, including Van Smith's green package. It comes with a full kitchen, tons of storage, a comfortable full-size bed, and more while helping a good cause. So you're entering for a chance to win while supporting something. That is amazing. Hence the name Omaze because it is amazing and that's why I love Omaze. You guys can head to omaze.com forward slash fishguychris and enter now. The earlier you enter, the more prizes you could win, including $10,000 cash if you enter by January 13th, 1159 p.m. PST. So go over to omaze.com forward slash fishguychris, support a good cause, enter for a chance to win some awesome prizes, guys. Go Port Omaze, support the kids over at St. Jude. Let's get back into catching some minnows. They're coming in, they're getting, we've been out here for a good hour trying to get these things in. This new breed of, of glass minnows is wizards. They're so smart, dude. This is how bad it's gotten, guys. They are so smart. I have duct taped two nets, <laughs> and I'm gonna try to whip them out of the water. All right, guys, now that we caught a bunch of glass minnows, we're gonna put some in here, but first I really wanna see if that furry epic fish wants to eat. Let's feed him and then put a bunch of glass minnows in this pond. Now you guys should be extremely excited right now because you guys haven't seen this fish eat on camera ever. This fish is one of the weirdest things I've ever seen. It's a rhino, a rhino fish I think it's called. He looks like a giant leaf, a giant yellow leaf. He's freaking awesome. He's super cool and he loves eating live. I saw him eat live once and that was it. But now we got some awesome little live glass minnows that he is going to. You're gonna see how fast this guy is. He is the stealth machine, but I don't want the Emperor Snapper eating all the glass minnows. I want only Mr. Rhino to be eating those glass minnows. So I got shrimp here, and boy do we got some big ones. That's some nice juicy shrimp. We're gonna give this to the Emperor Snapper so he's not stealing all those glass minnows. He's definitely getting bigger, that's for sure. We're just gonna drop it in and just let him go. Let him go ham. Oh, the grouper got that one. Just let these guys go ham and we can enjoy watching that rhino fish go to work. Look at the maroon clowns got it, stolen. Here comes the puffa, the big boy puffa. Oh my God, I accidentally dropped that in. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. No way he eats that. Even the moonfish is really, really uh not shy. The puffer's super pissed. The puffer's so mad. Oh, look at the toadfish. Look at the toadfish. Look at the toadfish. We haven't seen him often. He likes to really stay in the rocks. Toadfish is extremely poisonous or venomous and you will be uh, going right to the hospital if you get bit by that guy. So let me just drop a couple pieces in for the rest of the fish and then we're gonna target that rhino fish who's gonna absolutely love these glass minnows. Does the toadfish only eat live too? No, he eats Oh, look at the toadfish. That thing, oh, that thing is so weird too. We have some very interesting fish in here. That rhino fish and that toadfish are some of the two weirdest alien looking fish I've ever seen. Literally straight up aliens. Now's the time for the special, the special time. Now it's time for Mr. Glass Minnows. Let me scoop as many as I can. I did leave some at my house so we could bring, uh, so we could add them to the mini pond, which is gonna be the grand finale. We're gonna be adding fish for the first time in the mini pond, but I wanna add all of them at once. There's gotta be a hole in this net, right? Oh, there is a hole in the net. Let's add this group first, ready? Let's see what happens here. No, the moonfish, look at the moonfish. The moonfish are eating it. It's too big for him. Look at that live fish hunting upside down. What a, what an extremely cool creature that is too. Oh my God, look at him. Look at him, look at him. He's swimming out, he's swimming out. Here he goes, there's two coming at him. Okay, I'm gonna try to hand feed this guy. See if he wants it like this. Come on, buddy. Is he scared? No, he's looking at it. Maybe drop it on his face right there. Oh! Let's go, baby! Let's go, let's go. That's the first epic eat for Mr. Rhino here. I'm gonna try to get him some more though. Definitely gonna wanna hand feed this guy some more. All right, I'm gonna drop him another one here. Let's see if he wants it. Boom! Let's go! Let's see how many let's see how many minnows we can get him to eat. That's so freaking cool. The way he snatches at it. He does not look quick, but he is quick. I'm gonna drop it right on him. Ready? Three, two, one. Boom! No effort. He has to give no effort because your boy fish guy Chris is hand feeding you because I love you and that is one of the most unique. I've never seen a fish like that before in my life. Name a weirder fish down in the comments. Comment below. What do you think is weirder? Let's give him a couple more and see how full he can get. But do you guys want to see an invertebrate stocking or, or an invertebrate catching video next up for the mini pond, for the saltwater mini pond with the two windows? Let me know by dropping a like on this video. If this video gets 3,000 likes, we will do an invertebrate stocking for the epic new mini pond that we got. Let's give this guy another glass minnow. Boom! <laughs> he literally is the weird, oh look at it in his, in his mouth. 
Oh you see God. it? You can literally see it. He's translucent right there. That's him swallowing it. Wow, that was so weird. Brooke, did you see that? Yeah. That was crazy. All right, now that we fed him a bunch of glass minnows, let's get back to the house and finally add fish to the new saltwater mini pond. I'm pumped. You guys are gonna have to rate it from one to 10, how cool the fish look in this thing. Because imagine once we get some super colorful anemones, some sharks, it's gonna blow your guys' head. Blow your mind. Let's get back to the house and add some fish to the saltwater mini pond. What a great day I'm having catching glass minnows. They were really, really smart today, but we, we, we held through. It took us three hours to catch those things. They've really evolved. Let's get back to the house. Guys, now listen, we don't have that many left because that big boy, that furry rhino fish, crushed a lot of glass minnows. So we only have a couple left. That rhino fish ate a ton of minnows. He was really hungry and that guy only eats live just like Sponge and Patrick. We have a couple in here. This is gonna be the first fish going in. And I wanted to start with glass minnows, a bunch of glass minnows because they are a great starter fish. You can catch them real easy. Actually, not really easy. These ones have evolved. These are like level 10 brain glass minnows, but they're great to cycle the pond and it's a great first fish. So let's get some in the brand new saltwater mini pond with the windows. Let's get a couple in this net here. Let's just get like four. There's five in here right now. There is five beautiful little glass minnows in here right there. Look at that. Oh, now there's four. Watch this. Look at them. Look at the fish. That is so cool, dude. First fish going in the pond. Look at that. Hold on. Let me release them right here. They're staying. They want to stay in the net. Let's go. Let's go, look at them swimming off. That's epic, look at them from on top. That is cool, we got four glass minnows in the pond right now. First fish going in, let's go. I love adding new fish to pond, especially the brand new saltwater mini pond with the glass windows. Now, once I throw a bunch in here and turn the lights on at night, it is gonna look so damn clean. It's gonna look amazing. Let's get some more in there. All right guys, some more going in. Let's go, let's go. Look at them all, epic. We got probably 18 in there right now. They're all on the backside. Check them out right here. I'm gonna try to scare them over by the window. Here they come, here they come, here they come. Let's go. That's so damn cool, guys. That's so cool. And this is just glass minnows. I'm getting hyped over glass minnows right now. That's how you know this pond is epic because if I'm getting hyped over glass minnows, just wait till we have a little baby rays in here, little baby sharks, little baby clownfish. Who the heck knows? Let me know in the comments what you guys wanna see next in here. Maybe we'll do invertebrates next. You guys wanna see me do a big stocking with invertebrates? Let me know by dropping a like on this video. Now the pond looks great, the water looks great, the fish look great, and, there's, and those are just glass minnows and it still looks good. First fish added to the pond. It's coming along nicely. Remember, this is just the start. We have tons of videos planned. I'm gonna do a bunch of catchings, bunch of invertebrate stockings, bunch of invertebrate catchings. Then we're gonna start adding some expensive stuff and then we build more bigger, better ponds all year long. That's what we're gonna be doing, that's the goal. This is a great first start, looks amazing. First fish added to the pond. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next one, peace. Bye.